So, what we're going to do is talk about um, this option called restrictions in this section. So this is under general settings on the iPad and restrictions are probably the best tool for um, allowing certain access and certain times and um, certain settings on your iPad to only be used when you as a parent or um, as a teacher, I guess, if it was agreed to by t a parent and a teacher, would be able to access certain parts of an iPad. So at the moment, you'll see my restrictions are turned off um, because it's my iPad. I don't have to restrict my own usage. But for little Johnny, say that um, you wanted to restrict certain things that he could do on it, this is the place you go. Um, first thing you need to do is enable it. And this will allow you to put in a passcode. Now, this passcode is separate to the passcode we talked about in the last... Um, well, tutorial that we just had. This is only something that you as a parent would actually set and you would have to remember as part of this process. So, for example, in here, I've got, um, at the moment, there's no restrictions on this device. So, in other words, little Johnny can use um, Safari, okay? So, in other words, it's turned on, it's ready to go for him, you know, no problems. At the moment, he can use camera, FaceTime, iTunes books, install, he can install apps, so he can delete apps, he can use Siri and all those sorts of things. Say, if, um, for example, I didn't want Johnny just installing any sort of app on this iPad. If I turn off that ability, um, so in other words, now it is restricted, Johnny wouldn't be able to install an app onto this iPad without that passcode I set two seconds ago. Um, say that I didn't want him using FaceTime at all, so in other words, I would turn off his ability to access that, okay? And for example, underneath here, under um, allow content. So ratings for um, the United States is something that's set per app. So in other words, if I wanted to change it so that it was ratings per Australia, I would scroll up and find the Australian settings. So in other words, I would go like that. Um, I can also set particular types of downloads. So this only works from the, from the store, or if it was tagged as being that. Um, at the moment, it's set to explicit. I can turn off that so the music that he's listening to doesn't have you know, swear words or all those sorts of features in. I can turn off the ability to, uh, or turn on the ability to have certain ratings on movies. So in other words, if I only wanted to ha him to have PG settings, um, I would then start to turn off all of these sorts of settings onto here. So you need to make sure that that's okay. TV shows would be the same, books would be the same, apps would be the same, depending on what you did. In-app purchases, this relates to the ability, um, and I'll quickly tell you that, say within an app called Smurfs, that um, students could buy little berries and it cost 10 cents a bucket or whatever else. Inside the app, you used to be able to push go, buy them, and then parents would get a bill if they had their credit cards attached to it. It's called an in-app purchase. So in other words, it's already required. It will still need a password, but you can stop that from in here. Um, you can also prevent um, access to location services. So location services we're going to talk a little about a bit later under the privacy settings. You can turn off the ability for passwords and settings and photos. Um, you can turn off all these sorts of things um, and there's a whole heap of options inside here. You can allow for volume limits. Um, you can allow for find my friends not to be going on and all those sorts of things. But this is where you can restrict the use of the iPad depending on how much trust and how much control you want on the iPad. Um, I would highly recommend that um, you have a conversation while you're doing this with your son or daughter. If, um, for example, you restrict Safari, it would, um, which is Internet Explorer, which is a web browsing one, that means they wouldn't be able to use it to go on the internet at all. Um, and there wouldn't be any ability for us to change that as teachers if we had no ability to access that passcode lock. You might come up to your teacher, um, your, this, uh, the teacher that's teaching your son or daughter, and and give them the passcode so that if it was an app that needed to be used, or if there was something that come up, that 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 you and um, the teacher had a, um, an agreement, and then the teacher put the passcode lock in. But it's totally up to you in the way in which you enable or not have these sorts of things. So I'm going to turn it back off because I don't want to be restricted, um, and that's under general settings there as well.